Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve Doja here, back some more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. And these are the last few fights of my Dragon Ball Sparking Zero play session. I wanted to save these for its own separate video, rather than including it all into the big Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video I did with no commentary. So if again, everyone who's been asking Steed, where's the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero video no commentary? I already uploaded it. Please go check out the channel. It's like a two hour, 30 minute video of just pure new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay with zero commentary. So you can enjoy all the fights of all the characters in the highest quality. And hopefully I provided the the right amount of skill because you guys really like the gameplay. Hopefully I provided the right amount of skill to satiate your palate. Um, but for this fight in general, these are my last few fights. I just wanted to do anything I thought that was left interesting, such as forming Warp Kamehameha on a Great Ape. But seemingly it doesn't work because uh, Great Apes are just weird. They still have weird interactions with everything else. So I knew that Dragon Fist probably also still didn't work on him and I don't even attempt to go for it here. However, one cool detail you'll probably notice is that I have a very hard time getting through this guy's super armor unless if I throw a special attack or a smash attack in the middle of my combo. Because again, he's a great ape. Great apes have super armor. But as I go through the Super Saiyan stages, you can see it gets easier and easier to fight him as well as the other characters on the team. You waiting, huh? So as you could see there before Vegeta rudely uh, shoulder tackled me, um, Warp Kamehameha does not teleport when you are fighting a great ape. I do love the bendy beams in this game so much, man. Look at that. Warp Kamehameha does not teleport when you are fighting a great ape. At least the ultimate attack doesn't teleport. So that means you wouldn't get the cinematic afterwards either if the Kamehameha did actually hit the great ape character, which is also extremely unfortunate. And I go into Super Saiyan 2 instead, because Super Saiyan 2 Goku has instant transmission Kamehameha as a super attack. So I was thinking, okay, the interaction will be slightly different. And as you could see, yeah, it, 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 it's different. But I'm fighting Spurpovich right now, not Great Ape Vegeta. So I will instead allow you to uh, watch Spurpovich be quite a menace somehow. He actually fights back really well. <laughs> And here we could see the legendary moment I actually am able to use Warp Kamehameha as a counter attack to Spropovich. It's just so peak being able to use instant transmission Kamehameha like that. Because again, most Dragon Ball games don't actually allow you to use it in such a strategic way. But in Sparking Zero, finally, you can have very unique instances where an enemy is about to attack you and you can just go, nope, and then just teleport. And I think that's exceedingly cool. What else is super cool? Super Saiyan 3. And I like to say that they actually did improve the... Uh, I feel like they've improved the hair a lot in this one again. Just like, I feel like every build the hair gets updated though. Especially for Super Saiyan 3, it's easily most notable for Super Saiyan 3. But if you go back to like any other Super Saiyan Goku gameplay um, in this video and my other videos, you'll see that Goku's hair always gets uh, touched up ever so slightly. Between mid Goku and Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I think his hair gets adjusted the most in those films. Maybe blue as well, because, you know, Super Saiyan Blue is like his new main. Either way, I am facing Golden Frieza now as SSJ Free Goku. And Frieza does give me a bit of trouble, especially because I tried to use Super Perception on his uh, Super Attack, but I don't think I actually have enough meter to get the unique counter off. Again, I'm not sure if you can actually counter this move because it's way too different, but Perception didn't work. I take full damage from that. And again, I didn't have enough for a deflect, but I'm not sure if you can even deflect that move to begin with, so eh, who's to say? But the way I wrap up this Frieza fight, I think it's pretty cool. You're in my way.
Unfortunately, time did run out, and I did want to actually play more of the Dragon Ball Z versions of Goku, because I think this was my first match playing both End Goku and, I think, Namek Saga Goku um, as well. In my it, This entire recording session was probably my first few time playing all of these characters. This is my second time playing Super Saiyan God Goku. So, again, I didn't actually have a lot of familiarity with these characters, and there's a bunch of other things I wanted to try, but the play session did, in fact, come to a close. And this is the last fight I was able to record, so I think I'll let you guys enjoy this one in full. You won't surpass me! And this is one of the things I love the most about Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. A moment I said I really wanted to happen in actual gameplay, and it did happen here. Because of the way I spawned in, Cell didn't see me, and while he's searching for me, he goes into the building to look for me and allows me to snipe him and nuke the whole area of a Kamehameha. My power goes higher and higher! I'm super excited I managed to get that. Another thing I wanted to get was hiding from a great ape, knowing that great apes can go through buildings and look inside the buildings through the windows and stuff like that. I wanted to try hiding from a great ape and allow to like, and maybe like get an ultimate attack from a hidden area. I really, really wanted to capture that as footage, but again, I, I did run out of time, so I wasn't able to get that. But this is in fact my final fight. So again, I tried to do everything I could think of in this one. Like when I tried to use Godbinds to freeze Cell and have Boo come in and finish him off. But Boo came in doing an attack 
which kind of messed up the stun of my godbind and then boom missed the, the quirky beam afterwards it, it just doesn't angle very far down i guess which is unfortunate raccoon blocks this yeah he blocks that if i recall but i choose to finish him off with vegeta because i hadn't got too much vegeta gameplay and he was still in the team i was thinking hey you know i've seen everything i wanted to with goku let me just let vegeta tag in and do something cool real quick um since again i i don't know what else uh, what else i was gonna do with goku at this point i had these shown super saiyan blue and kaioken to the fullest i was thinking eh, not a lot goku could do maybe i'll try and go for a beam clash of god kamehameha Rukum does not take the bait it doesn't matter too much that he doesn't take the bait though because i still end up hitting him with the god kamehameha and i immediately swap to vegeta after hitting him so vegeta can be right next to him and do even more damage I'm actually able to land the move I always wanted to see on Vegeta, which was the Gallic Rush. It's the move he uses on Beerus in the Battle of Gods movie, and I was like, hey, I want to see it in Sparking Zero. Also, even though Raccoon is dead, it takes too long for the game to recognize he's dead, so I get a timeout victory instead, which is just really hilarious, and probably a perfect way to end the Dragon Ball Sparking Zero session. So those are all of my recordings of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, and again, if you want to see all of my fights in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, as well as all of Prolefsi's fights in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, all in one place, there is a 2 hour 30 minute video for you to chill out and enjoy on my channel. It's the previous video I just uploaded, I'll put a link in the description in case if you guys have a hard time finding it. But it's a great video, big video, lots of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero fights, new content, new new footage in general, updates of Super Saiyan, etc, etc. I can't sell the video enough. Go check it out when you have time. And uh, that'll be it. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you enjoyed the video, obviously, again, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to greatly support the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Take care and uh, peace.